What's up guys, KSK here and this is an ultimate speed test between the MIUI 10 versus the Pixel Experience running on Pocophone F1. So in other words, the stock ROM versus the custom ROM. So let's find out uh, which one performs better in real time usage. And the MIUI 10 is customized skin made by Xiaomi based on Android Pie. So this is a completely different from stock Android. Xiaomi replaces the stock system UI with their own UI called MIUI. And of course, some people like MIUI. It provides a lot of options in terms of customizations to the end user than the custom ROM does. On the other hand, we are having the Pixel ROM, uh, the custom ROM, which brings a Pixel 3 kind of look onto the Pocophone F1. So this is called a stock Android, so meaning it has a Google system UI. So we are having a two different ROMs for Pocophone F1, the one which made by OEM, another one which brings a real Android experience. So I decided to run a performance test between these two ROMs and see if which ROM outperforms over other. So keep in mind that both ROMs are actually based on Android Pi. I want to tell you one more thing here. So the latest version of the Pixel Experience kernel is compiled using a Clang which is a low-level virtual machine compiler which optimizes performance and get the most out of the silicon. So that means the Pixel ROM is no more or less than the MIUI 10. So let's find out. So let's start first with the benchmarking applications. I ran the N22 and the Geekbench applications as usual on the Pocophone F1 to see if which ROM scores better. So here are the scores. So you can see the scores are sometimes higher or lower depending on the variant you're having. The benchmark app measures the potential strength of the hardware and determines the capability of the device. So based on that, it will give you a score which absolutely won't affect the performance overall in your daily usage. Moving up to the performance round. So in this round, I try to run some heavy graphic intensive applications as well as the games on these two rounds to find out how it handles. Wow, the Pixel Experience did actually beat MIUI 10 in 1 minute 49 seconds and kept all of the apps in memory and finishes up this round first in 2 minute 15 seconds. On the other hand, the MIUI 10 finishes up this round in 1 minute 52 seconds and kept all of the apps in memory and completed the round in 2 minute 20 seconds. I ran this test again one more time, but this time I turn off all of the system animations to see the difference. Again, the Pixel ROM takes the lead and finishes up overall round in 2 minutes 4 seconds and MIUI 10 is so close and finished the round in 2 minutes 7 seconds. So you can say the Pixel ROM is the winner here. I want to say a few things here. So while performing this round, I felt like the MIUI 10 transitions are so good and it's fast. I can definitely say the Pixel ROM had a little bit of touch sensitive issues. I mean, you're rarely going to notice those uh, touch issues on these custom ROMs rather than the MIUI 10. So, but it doesn't matter. So overall, in this round, you can clearly uh, just saw the Pixel ROM takes the lead and done a good job. Finally, the battery usage. I can say that both ROMs are good enough and help you to survive whole day with one single charge for a minimal usage. If you're a heavy gamer, you will get around 5 plus hours on Pixel Experience and 6 plus hours on MIUI 10 as per my usage. At the end of the day, the battery usage will be different per individual. So the bottom line of this video is definitely you can use a Pixel Experience now as your daily driver. So every single update it gets and becomes more stable. So what do you guys think about it? Should I do more as speed test videos of ROMs? If so, so let me know your opinions in the comments down below. And yep, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified. So stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye now.